In Nigeria, a group of citizens has publicly announced their intention to embark on a 10-day nationwide protest against bad governance. The protest has been met with opposition from some government officials, including the Inspector General of Police and the Minister of Information. The Inspector General of Police on his side said that protest at this time is ill-timed. This is not the best time to say you want to stage a protest, whether peaceful or violent. This is not the best of time to stage protest. It can just it can it will only set us back. It's just going to set us back, bring us backward. The Honorable Minister of Information also, on the other hand, stated that um, the issue of the planned protest. Uh, Mr. President does not see any need for that. He has, he's asked them to, uh, to shove that plan. Uh, he's asked them to await government's uh, uh, response to all their pleas. He has listened to them, like I said. And a lot is happening. Only today, the National Assembly has expeditiously uh, passed the new national minimum wage. You can see how the president is working. It was transmitted only yesterday. Today, it has been passed. A lot of other uh, interventions that the president has also put in place um, are also going to be looked at uh, expeditiously in the interest of Nigeria. So there's no need for, for strike. The young people uh, out there should listen to the president and allow the president more time to see to the realization of all the goodies he has for them. But what do the people think? To get this, USTV Africa took to the streets to gather opinion from the masses. Here is what the masses has to say. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my brother. Thank you, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. In yes. your personal opinion, yes. if you are to judge yes. or assess the Nigeria economic situation, yes. Yes. how will you rate the current economic state of Nigeria? It's completely bad. Okay. Yes. It's completely bad. You see, some of us that have more than one wife, you give them money to go and buy food stuff in the market. They'll come back with this excuse is that the money you gave us is not enough for the finance. Everybody in the whole country and even beyond knows that Nigeria is suffering seriously. Yes. The economy is completely bad. But we find it very difficult to define it. We find it very difficult to define it. Is it when the way people die before you make up the economy or before you bring up, I mean, bring back the good? Economy, uh, people that voted for you, thinking of the same line with you. Yes. Some Nigerians mm -hmm. that thinks like this yes. are planning to go on a nationwide protest across the country. What is your view? About see, the there is something you must have to understand about protest. If there is no protest, there can never be reconciliation. Hmm. It is very, very important. And if I have my own, I will join them for the protest. Because Coming out to protest, you are making the government to understand that what the government is doing is not good. There is nothing wrong about that. It's not, it's, it's constitutional. You must make protest. You understand? Because that is the only way the government of the day can almost have a rethink of what the Nigerians are going through. There is the common man, all right, uh, sympathizers of the government mm. are thinking that this protest, uh, the timing of the protest, that protest it is right to protest, mm. but the timing of the protest is wrong. Uh, the state. Uh, you see this protest as the timely let's, and uh, let's, uh, understand, uh, let's, let's, let's understand something here. Okay? Those that are sympathizing with the government are those that are enjoying from him. You cannot criticize somebody that is taking care of you now. Those that are saying that this is the timing, there must not be timing for the protest. I should leave it here tomorrow and I'm dying today. If I have my means of expressing my feeling. So what we are saying is that those who tell you to the government are those benefiting from you. They don't care and they are doing it for their selfish interests. They don't care about what the common man there is facing. They don't care. If you leave from here before you go further, just take a look at the left or your left hand and you look at your right hand, you see how people are faring. I am not I am seriously in support of this strike. But do you see the uh, do you think the protest will yield results uh, uh, given the experience of what happened to the, uh, the if, protesters during the MSAS protest? If, if, do you think this will yield results? No. You see, if the government is sensible or if this within him. I think very well. 
they will understand that definitely there must be a protest. There must be a protest. Because definitely, if they, if they have conscience, and Nigerians are making their opinions known to them, to the government, that this thing you are doing is not good, what are they supposed to do? Come to the round table. Definitely, it will yield results. You understand? And by the time it fails to yield results, that means they have said this country. I have to tell you the truth. If the fail to the if the protest fail to yield the yield the result, that means they have sold this country. That is exactly what is happening. It is very, very unfortunate to find ourselves in this kind of a mess. But that notwithstanding, they should have to think over the whole thing. You say Buhari was bad. Buhari was bad, you said it. TV is lost. Alright, thank you. Madam, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, you are doing PS on the road. That's small business. Yes, sir. From this business that you are doing this business, if you are to describe Nigeria economy, how do you see the economy of Nigeria currently? Currently, the, the economy of Nigeria, I would say, is very, very, very bad. Hmm. Bad. Very bad because... To feed now is a problem. To feed the many people, to feed is a problem because I'm here, I'm on the road, I'm seeing how people used to come and complain to me that they have not eaten for long. Many people, men and women, will call. Some will say I should give them this or borrow me just 1,000 or 2,000. Just for me and my children to go and eat. My children have not eaten since the morning. Some women will come. They will cry that their children, they are looking for what their children to eat. Please eat. Some will come and say, if I can please give them Gary or something. Just for them to take, take with their children. So what I will say now, the economy is very bad at the moment. Good. A lot of Nigerians think the way you are thinking. And people with this type of view that the economy is bad are planning to go and do nationwide protests titled End Bad Governance. They say hunger is too much. Yes. How do you express your view? How do you see the protest? What is your idea about the protest? My idea about the protest, me, I will say I am in support of this protest 100%. 100%. If not, I'm busy back. I would have loved, I want to give you that defect. You join the protest? Yes. Then because we need a good governors, uh, yeah, good governor, right. governors, we need a better Nigeria. And we should take religion as fight, tribalism as fight. Let, let's be one. Let's unite and fight this, what do I say? Fight this bad governance. Uh, do you think if they do the protest, do you think it will produce any result? Will there be any good result at the end of the yes, protest? I think if there is no corruption, if there is no corruption, because this protest now we said we, we need to come out in mass as in irrespective of your religion, your church, your religion, anywhere you are coming from, if we can unite, everybody should come out because. To me, those that are suffering are more than those that are enjoying. Mm. So if we can come out in mass, as in come out in mass and and protest, it's just a peaceful protest. And what I'm saying, the gov the government should please allow the youths because what I'm hearing is youth that want to protest. The government should allow the youth to protest peacefully. That's what I'm seeking now. Because what happened during uh, the census, we heard that a lot of people died. That we heard that allegedly, yeah, uh -huh, that they killed some people. So we don't want that history to repeat itself again. Please, there should be a peaceful protest because people are dying of hunger. Even me that I'm talking as in Nigeria is not smiling at anybody now. Okay, but the president is. Thinking that Nigeria should be a bit patient, that we should endure. Do you think we should give him more time, endure the hunger, and uh, wait for him a little more? To me, to me, I would say, because if I could remember, since he came into power, 
when he removed subsidies. People started complaining. He said we should endure. He has a plan that Nigeria is going to be better. And I think it's more than a year now. A year now. To me, there's no changes. Instead, everything is going from bad to worse. Like if you should say that we should, we should, we should, we should, we should step down with the protest that is going to be better. There are some things that we want, something like this fuel subsidy that they remove. Okay, if you say we should not protest, they will kill them in faith. Let them turn back to the former price. Okay, as an alternative, mm -hmm. if you say okay, don't protest in yes. the interim, yes, the yes. Let us before the let protest, the price come down. Mm -hmm. yes, before the protest, like before the August, first yes. August, let them come down before first August. That's the only thing based on my own this thing. That's the only thing that we make you to stop that. Yes, this is why I see also with what they are saying. Fuel price should come down. They all this. Uh, what we are what we are fighting for is, uh, is 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 hunger and insecurity. Thank you. Insecurity, because if there's security in the in, in, in the nation, I don't say that there's there's the security and 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 there's everything. Price of things are are they are, are cheaper. I don't think that we can we go for this. Uh, for a peaceful purpose, but why we are going because of our life, we are even because even if you stay in your, in your home, you are going to die, mm. they will come and kill you. If you go out, they will kill you. If you don't, if you do that like because of hunger, uh, because of uh, insecurity, hunger will kill you because you are dying. Thank you. That's what I'm hearing. I legend you because I've not seen it. Because they said some people died. Somebody was telling me, you are saying that as a VA, you saw the person. You now see him like two days again. He just saw his lifeless body on the on the road. Even I was saying, some that people are frustrated. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, Nigerians are planning to go on the nationwide protest. In your view, is this protest necessary at this time? Oh, well, um, first of all, protest, that's the beauty of democracy. The protest has to be civil, it has to have a purpose, and um, the government has a responsibility to ensure that the protesters are also safeguarded. I think that is why our current president, Bola Metinogo, protested some time ago, particularly against the fuel subsidy at that time. At the time of good luck, Jonathan. And if he did protest, and the president of that time, good luck, Jonathan, and co listened to the protest, I don't see what is wrong about protestations now. However, this is Nigeria where unusual things happen. Why is it that in post throughout the eight years of uh, Buhari, people from the north do not find it necessary, necessary to, protest. to protest? Why is it now? Is one year enough for people to judge the administration of uh, President Tinubu? I would say no. But you don't go to treat an eye. And add pepper to the medicine. That's exactly what the president did. On the very first day, the very first speech of his uh, inauguration, the first speech was that he was removing something to do, even though he's leaving alert. For the interest of the poor, no house of red, no house of uh, no teammates, no advisor, nothing on ground. But he took this moral decision. Perhaps the labor that's in order to help us, we are settled. I want to say that um, the president should do more. Because we cannot continue to be patient. We know how many of our neighbors we are losing every day. You know, these people that are dying cannot be the ones that will come back and inherit whatever success the uh, the we are facing today is putting on us. So for me, when you want to uh, do a critical surgery like the one President Ahmed Bilal is doing and we're supporting him to do. There must be 
Anastasia, there must be a priority. There must be something that will keep the poor man going. To push on the effect. To push on the effect. Meanwhile, the basis of judging any leadership in this world is how do the poor feel? We, the poor, have no other place to run. Right. So for me, I, I see the protest. I welcome the protest. I will join the protest. I will protest. And I hope that the government will not use their machinery of violence. Um, talking about the military, the paramilitary, to come and uh, you know cause problems because we saw that happen during the SARS riot. It was the same people with SUVs that paid people five hundred naira to come and set cars and ablaze to come and cause men, uh, you know, uh, and disrupt the protest. Yes, it may not be everything. The protest should not go ahead. President Tinubu should come out, address Nigeria. If he doesn't want you to go ahead, he must address Nigeria. He must give us something concrete to hold on to. So from your experience and understanding of the Nigerian faith, do you think the, the protest will yield any positive result at the end of it? Or whether it yields or not, we are not there. We cannot tell. But my children in the house protest. Even this morning, one of them said three slices of bread is too small for him. <laughs> it's protest. And I had to do that one of my own. To make his own. To make his own fair. So, for heaven's sake, uh, the, the way the senators live in Nigeria, the way the House of Red people live in Nigeria, the way the ministers live in Nigeria, the converse we see, the kind of waste we see in government cannot be explained. Government must take responsibility, they must take action. If they truly wish to wait until what happened in Kenya happened in Nigeria, before we to have a discussion or a sharing, sacking most of his cabinet members, those of his ministers, we should do so now. We should come up on radio and TV, announce that this and this are going to be done. Right after those things that he has announced should be pursued and regulated by law. And once that is done, we are moving so that we are not a politician. But I want to tell you that it doesn't take rocket um, uh, science to placate the poor people in Nigeria. We have done enough. We have suffered enough. Whoever said it's not suffering is a liar. Thank you. Thank you. Around. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine. As you say, for a road like this, how you see Nigeria economy now as you did? If there's a way to talk, how you go describe this Nigeria economy now? Uh, this Nigeria economy is too bad, though. it's not good at all. Because things is very high, because of the fuel uh, subsidy. I still understand. When you buy things too cost, you, if you know you sell it, you cannot gain anything inside. You are just suffering. No anything inside. So, as you feel like this, you say on 1st of August when they come, say so Nigerians won't go outside, go to protest, say, we will not be, we'll make a hundred too much. Yes. That protest, how you see her? That protest, I'm, I'm in support of it because I'm suffering too. I'm in support of that protest. Let's say for Nigeria, people don't do protest before. Say, answers. Say, they don't do answers that time. You do Nigeria that time. Yes, I'm not Nigeria. Because of what's going to happen that time, this is the only one going to happen. So, you see, say, resort to come the It's going to mean anything to government. So, we are we still, we still, we still trying now our best. We cannot remain like this. We are suffering our children, our children are separate too. So we cannot remain like this. We go for the protest and see what the government will do for us. If there's a bit you advise the new president, what do you advise and make you do? If I have the way to advise the new, I will tell you, let him bring the subsidy down. The fair cost me, let him bring it down for us. It's the cost of all these things. You guys here, calm down. Everything will be normal. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, that, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Fine, how are you? Fine. As they do, Akada, yes, sir. every day you they meet people. As Nigeria economy day now, how you see Nigeria economy? Nigeria good? Be bad? How Nigeria? How you see Nigeria? Well, totally, Nigeria it is very bad. Totally, it is very bad. Because hungry day to everywhere. Two weeks ago, I did go my hometown. Sure, you understand that. I did go my hometown. I think say I want to reach uh, one month before I come this Abuja. 
because of this hungry they too much for everywhere now only way which i do for my home health this thing good no no good every every major everything nigeria don't spoil like this everything don't spoil i like okay now as you see say everything don't spoil some nigeria must say everything don't spoil so uh, on first of august people won't go out go do protest they won't go do zanga zanga they won't go do we no agree we no agree for your view how you see the protest well they won't go do for nigeria that's the that thing that, that people of nigeria wanted to do it's a very good thing it's a very good thing because that this that this where you do now nobody they like her nobody they like her and then even that government she know how we this how 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 we they now can hmm. so you understand ba so this thing way this thing that people of nigeria that they are wanting to do is a very good thing we are they like her if they do the protest uh, as the cm as they see the government if they do protest they say this go change if they do protest so maybe something will change maybe you no know, go change hmm. maybe you go change maybe you no know, change go change what the president tinubu he say make we no vest not to wait how you say am make we wait or am make we protest how you say so since time when tinubu came the president of nigeria he don't start this thing no no vest no to no vest no to no vest so how thing this thing come to, can, can settle us now even that government that is passed if you if you want to uh, if you want to say that government it is the bad you already come to say make you no vest no to no vest it is he pass he pass no we will no base and, and no change, change. change. Mm -hmm. so even this government it is no base it make the same no base no base no base so that's why you go police in prayers mm. nothing will change mm. this thing is a good is a is it not good thank no. you thank you good morning sir yeah, good morning gentlemen. how are you doing i'm good as a nigerian yeah. how will you assess the current economic state of nigeria yeah anyway to be sincere with you the current economic uh, state of nigeria is so bad though the micro and macro aspect of it is so terrible that uh, even the citizens uh, cannot even uh, you know the basic things that we need we can't get it any longer so like before like look at this uh, price of fuel petroleum the inflation rate of in nigeria now is high the previous day, I read the news uh, about the uh, uh, National Bureau of on Statistics. Statistics yeah. They said that the inflation rate in Nigeria I think is about 34.9%, mm -hmm. which is so bad. That, uh, that, that is hyperinflation. You understand? And uh, the, the cost of everything in market has increased drastically that even a common man in the street cannot provide them. You understand? So everything in Nigeria, if, if from here, from here, you have common transportation. You cannot even be able to transfer yourself confidently to where you are going. Don't be trying to save even enough to sap all the money in your pocket. You know, when we are talking about this inflation, in the, the current situation, the inflation has eaten up everything. That when we talk about the disposable incomes of individuals, of the masses, it's so terrible that when you talk of uh, 10,000 naira, we talk that you can you go to market and get something good. But when you notice that every time you go to the market, the disposable income, uh, you know, has depreciated. The liquidity has been, in fact, is nothing to write home about, to be sincere with you, sir. All right, those that think the same line, on the same line with you, are yeah. uh, as going, are uh, planning to go on a nationwide protest uh, against the current hardship and the uh, difficulty in Nigeria. What is your view about the, the planned protest in Nigeria? The planned protest... Uh, you know, it's not a bad thing. When we talk of peaceful protest, peaceful protest is not, you know, it's constitutional. In the, they, they are trying to you know, show their constitution, their constitutional rights. The only problem with protest is that when the protest becomes, uh, you know, uh, violent, right. violent, that is just the problem with protest. But when the citizens of this country say that they are going for protest, that's when they are exercising their, their rights, their human rights. They have every right to protest so that the government of the day will know their own pride. Because when we talk about protest, the way we, the common men or the common people in the street of this country, the president there, you know, our, our dead president there cannot help us, if not for the sake of that same protest. So when we protest diligently without any violence or, you know, involved, I tell you, it's okay. 
so that the president will know where and where to you know, to, to adjust their policies, their market policies, the whole fiscal and monetary policies. Because the whole thing is uh, affecting the economy of this country drastically. Uh, uh, do, you, do you see uh, this project as being present at the end of? Do you think the protest will yield result at the end of it all? Of course, I believe that the protest will yield result in the sense that the president will know our price. Because as uh, Ali is giving us an equation that they were, you know, in Sawan the president said that they cannot, they know, people cannot even assess him, that he that he doesn't even know what is going on in the, uh, in, in, in the common, in the street of Nigeria. That's why when you see the protest, you understand, the, 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 the president will know, yes, these are the problems of Nigeria, because you need to address all these problems. There are a lot of problems. There are a lot of problems in Nigeria. The president is asking that we should be patient and uh, give him uh, a little more time. Don't you think that Nigeria should be a uh, little patient with the president, give him more time? Yes, actually, when we are talking about being patient, 365 days, that's what I make a year. And so how, what, what patient is it after a year? We are talking about more than a year. It's, it's more than a year. Nigeria has, uh, Nigeria has a size patient enough. The economic situation of Nigeria, even the, even the economic policy of this government uh, uh, are okay, or the economic policies are okay. I think there's every need that they have uh, adjust things because we are not seeing the positive aspect of it. Everything that we are saying on a daily basis, things keep on getting spoiled. The only thing we heard on is that uh, the purchase of uh, private jets, the, uh, the purchase of uh, the proof cars, the purchase and the increment of the uh, allowances of the select and the out of representatives, both in the chamber and the red chamber. Is that how to excite the patients? We are talking of common food, the Gary and the Agado that he promised us. You understand? We on his days of campaigns, he promised us that he will give us Agado and the rest. We are not saying that Agado is expensive, not to Not to make a sour. We are talking of now to get present in Nigeria. A number of days is showing up to from 3,500 naira to 4,000 naira. The Agado, the call in question, is even highly over. Very, very expensive. Thank you. Thank you. US TV, Unity Star Television, always ahead.